You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are. You are. Hi everyone. My name is Kate. I'm Shani. I'm Cynthia, and I'm Lisa. We are students from CHRJ St. Nicholas Girls School, and today we will be using this video to present our project title: The Effects of Fertilizers on Common Green Carpet Algae So moving on to our introduction. Microalgae is emerging to be one of the most promising, long-term, sustainable sources of biomass and oils. The Algal Biomass Organization research has found that algae grows fast and has high biofuel yields. In a typical koi pond, we realize that there is always a slight microalgae or carpet algae bloom. Hence, we decided to conduct this investigation to determine if different concentrations of fertilizer and the difference in the life levels of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium will affect the growth of common green carpet algae. It was hypothesized that when a lower concentration of potassium fertilizer was used, the growth of algae would increase. Our objective for carrying out this experiment was so that we can infer which nutrients are most desirable when cultivating algae and perhaps develop a greater understanding of the advantages and disadvantages of algal biofuel. This new information can then allow us to improve our school system of our school by growing algae moderation, so as to maintain a good level of oxygen in the pond. As our biofuel is still under research, we hope that our experiments can allow others to understand more about the effects of fertilizers on common green carpet algae growth. For our apparatus, we use two plastic containers, each of two liter capacity, four styrofoam cups, glass beakers, glass stirrers, filter paper, conical flasks. For materials, we needed 400 milliliters of pond water, 12 grams of algae, 4 types of fertilizer, we used nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and a control, and 800 milliliters of distilled water. Thank you. 